guys, this is Fleep here. Um, today I've got a Triggerbot tutorial for you. Um, hopefully I'm not talking too loud. I had to play around with the uh, settings on my mic, although it's generally pretty good. Um, quick note, I have my neighbors playing music, which is a little bit shit, but hopefully you won't hear much of it. So my neighbor's into all this kind of crap music, which is okay, you know. I think she's in love or something, so she keeps playing that romantic kind of shit. Um, so, let's go on to first things first. So, last time when I did the bunny hop tutorial, you guys were great. I didn't I didn't realize you guys would be so welcoming uh, to new tutorials and stuff. And I really appreciate that. You guys were so cool about it. And uh, you gave me a lot of ideas for new tutorials, which is great. And it's stuff that I'll have to go into and uh, learn myself in some cases. Because there, there is some diffu difficult stuff you guys requested. Um, but uh, you gave me some great ideas. You guys were great, and you really got me, you know, uh, keen to do the next tutorial, which is this one that you're going to get today. Uh, and this is, as I said, the Trigger Bot tutorial. And what we're going to do on this one is, um, well, I'm sure most of you have seen the Trigger Bot, but I'll actually I'll explain that in a second. So I'm going to show you it in action first. So, oops, left fraps on there. So just get rid of that. So I'm going to run Counter Strike. There you go. Hopefully that's looking good there. Um, so here we go, let's create a game and I'm gonna prepare the solution here, move that over there let you guys uh, have a look at that a little bit later on um, so create server, so again like I said guys if you hear a bit of sound or a little bit of background music uh, you know it's just my neighbors, it's no big deal um, you know they're just playing some weekend music um, but um, hopefully the tutorial will be just as beautiful as usual and, and uh, it'll be alright so I'm running the hack here quickly so I'm going to choose terrorist forces yeah why not uh, so as you can see it's just running trigger bot there so here I am against three guys uh, are we running some sound I don't know if we should have sound in this or not uh, let's put a tiny bit of sound actually let's not because that way you can't hear me so here we are as you can see uh, so one thing I'm going to say straight away is I'm not clicking the left mouse at all Throughout this demonstration, I will not press left click one time, so I, will, I won't shoot by myself. So I've got them coming after me now. There's three of them versus me. All right, here we go. There's one. I'm not pressing the left mouse. So I'll explain for those of you that don't know. I'll explain how the uh, how the hack works in a second. So here, as you just saw there, I killed all three of them. Um, well, I guess the trigger bot killed all all three of them. So um, last time I explained the how it works. After, so I'm just going to do a little something quickly here. Feed sheets one. I'm just going to stop the bots for a second so I can explain this to you. Stop one. So I'm going to buy a little new weapon. Why not? Uh, shotgun. Why not? Yeah, they're pretty good. That's good. All right. So uh, funnily enough, this shotgun is one of the most powerful weapons with the trigger bot on. You'll understand why, I guess. So, um, I'm just going to go explain a theory of how this works quickly, and then I'll go over a couple of things, and then we can start the tutorial properly. So, um, let's think about this. So, what is a trigger bot? So, when an enemy, the way a trigger bot works is, uh, it's well, the name gives it away a little bit, but what happens is, you have your crosshair in the middle, so as you can see, this green crosshair here, do a fraps check here. So you have the, the green crosshair here, and what happens is when it detects an enemy, it automatically shoots. That's ultimately what Trigger Bot does. Loads of different games, you'll have to do different approaches, but that's how it works. You have a Trigger Bot, and if I'm moving around and all of a sudden an enemy comes up, boom, we shoot automatically. We force the game to shoot. We don't shoot ourselves. So that's what a Trigger Bot ultimately does. So it gives you this uh, great advantage. Uh, mostly an updated quick reaction time. I know some of you guys will be very quick on the trigger, but uh, this will just make it that slightly bit better. Um, so let's just go up to the enemy. Oh, there they are. They were coming after me, actually. So as you, again, like I said to you, I won't be pressing left click a single time. So as you said, I'm avoiding aiming at them because it will shoot when it sees them. So the way this works is like this. We find the, the enemy, well, we find our structure, our base, uh, array, not array, uh, it's, a, it's a list, I think, but it doesn't really matter, array or list, it's the same shit um, most of the time. Uh, but we find 
our addressing memory, our player base, where all our information is stored, you know, information like how many rounds have you got left in your gun, uh, how much health have you got, what team are you on, and we find that information and we grab ours and in this case we grab our crosshair ID now not all games will have this you'll have to do things like perhaps check a specific crosshair area uh, but most games should have it so crosshair ID simply tells us where are we aiming at on the screen so if we aim at this car and the car is a valid entity in the game and not just any random model it will s store a value so let's say it will show uh, for example 120 uh, if we aim at this any of these players it will show a different number so it will sh show most likely their player ID so let's say it's 2, 3 mine will probably be 0 but that changes in most different most games I guess uh, so if we aim at this player let's say he's player 2 it goes it loops in memory and it says does our crosshair ID uh, does it equal an enemy that's a very simple way of seeing it so we loop through it and we say for example, if our crosshair ID is 2, let's say we're aiming and we're aiming at enemy 2, we loop through the enemy list and we say, is enemy 2 on our team? If the answer is no, we shoot, because he obviously has to be on the other team. So we just go here and boom. See? Just hover it over him, boom, he's dead. Um, so that's basically what this does. For those of you that want a little bit of theory how this works, it, it scans through the enemies and it compares our information to the enemy's information so is the enemy equal to the crosshair ID that way it will make sure that we don't shoot our friends um, I can't show you this uh, well I haven't got any teammates but it doesn't really matter hopefully you guys can just take my word for it and know that if you aim over your enemies I'll do that in the final um, demonstration I guess uh, I'll show you with uh, friendlies and it, it will shoot at enemies so just hover over this guy boom so as you can see it counts you quite early because so if I go like that, there you go, it shoots straight away. So it can shoot quite early, as you can see here, clip this shoulder. Um, so as soon as he's in the crosshair, boom. And that is part of the reason why this isn't a great thing for snipers. Because a sniper will maybe aim at the arm or whatever. But you can always work on those kinds of things later. Anyways, I'm spending too much time on this. So that's basically how the trigger bolt works and hopefully that makes sense to most of you so that's like a, a high level kind of way of thinking about it when you get down to it there's a couple more steps but it's not you know if you understand the basics of it you will understand most of it so just hover over this guy boom dead um, yeah so that's pretty much it um, a couple of things to talk about on this game um, some of you guys asked if the previous bunny hop hack was uh, vac uh, detectable it most likely would be and you would be banned so please don't use that and the same applies to this hack please don't use this um, on proper online servers that are VAC protected unless you know how to protect uh, and how to secure your hack otherwise you're screwed and you're gonna get banned and I really would prefer if you guys weren't banned for it and I'm sure you would also so that's that um, um, yeah, this is an external hack for simplicity, guys. Uh, the last time people were asking me, oh, is it internal or is it external? Because I know some of you prefer internal, and that's great. And I also prefer internal, but, um, you know, it really doesn't matter. If you if you can do one, you can do the other. The, if you go back to my other tutorials, it's quite an easy thing to change. And a quick note about this is that the hack is currently external, and it's quite fast. If you were to make it internal, you would increase the rate of fire by quite a bit because we're going to be using things like read process memory and stuff like that. And I'll go a little bit into more detail about that later on. Uh, so bear in mind if you can do your hack internally through a DLL or whatever, you will get a lot more speed through this. Again, you use this online, you're most likely going to get banned. Um, unless you change a couple of things by yourself. Uh, generally reading memory doesn't get you into any trouble online but um, there is a tiny bit of writing here and you will get screwed if you do it. So please try it against bots and stuff like that and then if you like try and protect it yourself. Maybe I'll do some tutorials on anti-cheat later on. It's something that I'm considering right now as a lot of you guys asked for it. So that's pretty much it for theory. Um, so yeah, I've explained that, and some of the steps that we did on the bunny hop tutorial, I'm not going to go over every single one of those the same. Uh, so if you haven't checked out the bunny hop tutorial, please go back and check it. Um, now I'll put an annotation here on your screen right now, uh, probably like on the, in the center of it or whatever, uh, so you can go back to it. Because please, if you haven't seen it, it, it it shows a lot of basic information that will be helpful throughout the trigger bot, aim bot, and any of the tutorials I do based on CSS. <clears throat> um, yeah, 
I think that is it for the basic stuff. Um, some of the stif stuff that you need for this tutorial will be uh, a copy of Counter Strike. Uh, this can be any any Counter Strike version will be fine. Um, I'm using the latest one on Steam. Uh, I bought it just so we can all do this and uh, hopefully have the latest offsets, etc. It doesn't really matter though because I've tried it with older versions as well and it worked beautifully as well. Um, what, what what else will you need? Uh, you need cheat engine. I will be using 6.3. I didn't like the version 6.2, which I thought was pretty crap. But the latest one, 6.3, I think it's fairly good. It's got a couple of bugs, but it generally works pretty well. Uh, so I recommend you get 6.3 because I know a lot of you guys like using the latest versions. Um, all the debug is not necessary for this tutorial because, like I said to you, some of the steps that we've done in the bunny hop tutorial we will skip. So some of the stuff you'll have to. If you haven't seen the bunny hop, we're kind of guessing, well not guessing, but we already have that information. So I don't want to take too much time doing stuff that we've already done. Um, um, what else? Uh, so yeah, we have to enable the console for CSS and you can do that. Uh, some people are saying you can enable it through here. I'm trying to remember how to do it, because I didn't find an option to do it. I don't want to spend much time on it now. If someone could put it in the comments how to enable the console through the menu uh, then that would be just cool yeah because I can't see my enable the joystick or input yeah I don't waste time on this I can't see it but maybe I'm sure maybe it's there I don't know so yeah enable the console so you can do that by again if you saw my bunny hop tutorial you already know how to do this I don't like covering so if I go here quickly kind of strike source so go on to your game on steam and right click properties and then you'll get this uh, set launch option. So click on Counter Strike, set launch options, and then just do dash console, and that should be fine. And that allows you to press the key below your escape key, and that will give you a console which we'll use to make our life slightly easier. Um, again, guys, I chose CSS because it's a very straightforward um, game to do, and most people have a copy of it. And you guys have been asking me for such a long time for doing CSS hacks, uh, so I will do that. Um, anywho, I hope hopefully you've got a copy of Counter Strike, either that or a similar uh, source game, so you can have, for example, Left 4 Dead. I mean, I can't provide support for, support for those. Left 4 Dead, uh, perhaps another Counter Strike version, CS:GO, or you know, Valve's got so many games with the Source Engine, so you can choose any of those, and uh, you should be able to work it more or less the same way. Um, if you have a little bit of knowledge of programming, that would be really helpful for you. If not, you will struggle with a couple of things, but you can still do the tutorial and maybe go back later on and see the comments and try and learn some of this stuff. A um, couple of people I like to credit, I mean, this tutorial was mostly me, unlike the last one that I used some stuff online. Uh, but I still like to credit a couple of people like Exedium Dubstep and Nubtick at Guided Hacking. So Exedium Dubstep, look him up on YouTube. I'm not going to put his name down, guys, because I did that in the last tutorial. Uh, you feel free to, to just put him into the search bar um, so check that out but this tutorial is pretty much um, you know I picked a couple of things from totally random places and uh, I've had to come up with some of the stuff myself so um, there you go but I still like to give credit to the people that you know have put out some of the work that I followed in order to do this so um, hopefully that makes sense and um, yeah so we're just gonna get on with the tutorial and hopefully this will be uh, beautiful stuff and hopefully you guys can um, do it along with me. All right. Okay. So uh, let's just start the tutorial. So I'm going to show you my desktop icons here, as usual, guys. Um, actually, who should I thank for this um, for this background? This is a really cool background, and I believe I don't want to search him up now, but uh, I totally forgot his name. But uh, you know, whoever did this background, I do remember you, but I, I your name kind of escapes me right now. Uh, thanks a lot for the background, it's a really good background um, and uh, nice work there. So um, again guys all the work will be a guided hacking. I tend to upload tutorials there a couple of days after I put them on YouTube so you can read all that stuff there etc etc if you like obviously. So I'm just gonna show you the I'm just gonna get these open just so um, I can get access to what I need for the tutorial. So first things first I'm just gonna open my notes here I'm gonna start off again. Sorry for the music, guys. Um, it's um, not very cool, but um, I, I don't have much spare time to record this video, so I really need to make the most of it. So, 
Um, let's start off with searching for a couple of variables. We'll search for a couple that we did last time, but it should be mostly straightforward. So, uh, cheat engine, I think, yeah, this is 6.3, again, the one that I'm using. Uh, I recommend you guys use either a similar one, because it's pretty much the latest version, or, you know, most of them will, will work just fine, though. So, I'm going to run Counter-Strike here, so here's my version. Just run it there. A couple of checks throughout. Get that done. All right, so moving this up here, let me just change my resolution like I did last time. So, uh, did I have 800 by 600, or is this okay? Um, yeah, I think this is okay. Yeah, this is fine. Um, just move that up a little bit. So, let's attach our cheat engine to the beautiful um, HL2, which is Counter-Strike. Um, so, get rid of this. I don't care about settings for now. So, the first step will be to get our base and 